Namo Buddhaya. This is a special inner guide video that is dedicated to the little daughter who had asked a question from us. She had mentioned in her comment that she has a big problem with laziness and also her exams are near so she is in a big stress and also she said that she no longer finds a value in her life. I think most of the people, most of us have these kind of questions. Okay, let's start with the first question. She had said that she has a big problem with laziness and sleepiness. I know that getting up early in the morning and sitting for studying and doing the studies is a little bit of a hard thing to do when you are a student especially. First of all, let me introduce you to the words of inspiring words of the Supreme Buddha. Supreme Buddha said, Sukarani asadhuni attano ahitani cha. It is very easy to do evil things, the things that brings the unhappiness or the suffering or the regret to our life. Supreme Buddha said, Yangve hitangcha sadhumcha tangve paramadukkara. If there is something that brings us the happiness to our life, if there is something that makes us proud about ourselves, doing such things is a really, really hard thing. So, getting up early in the morning and sitting for studying, studies is a hard thing to do. Why? Because if you do that, it brings the happiness to your life, right? Studying, educating yourself brings the happiness to your life. So, most of the people, they find hard to get up early in the morning. Now, we all like that fluffy and comfy and warm feeling that we feel on the bed in the morning. So, when you open your eyes, in the morning, your mind says, just stay another five minutes. And that's the point that you are making the mistake. Your mind, you listen to your mind, you listen to what your mind says. You, when your mind says, just stay another five minutes more, it's okay, it's not a problem. That is where you make the mistake. And that five minutes will last long for another hour. And when you get up after an hour, you start your mind, the same mind that told you to stay on the bed for five minutes will complain you. You are not studying. It will say that it will say that you are going to fail the exams. That is how our mind lies us. That is how our mind tricks us. So when you get up in the morning, when you open your eyes in the morning, right? When your mind says to stay on the bed for another five more minutes, do not listen to that. Do not listen to that lie. Get up and refresh yourself and start studying early in the morning. There's a great quote that I remember all times when even in my life, when I'm going through hard times, I remember this quote. It says, it is, a, it is a wonderful quote, it says, if you do what is easy today, your life will be hard tomorrow. Let me repeat that again. If you do what is easy today, your life will be hard tomorrow. But if you do what is hard today, your life will be easy tomorrow. So getting up early in the morning is, hard, is a hard thing. But if you do that hard thing, remember, your life will be easy. But if you, if you stay on the bed for another five minutes, feeling, doing what is easy, your life will be hard tomorrow. So get up early in the morning. Do you know how long you're gonna feel the hardship of getting up early in the morning. Do you know how many, for how many days that you are going to find very hard to get up in the morning? Only for three weeks. 
If you get up early in the morning and start studying in the morning for for three three weeks, remember for only for three weeks, it will make a habit to your life. And after the after that three weeks, you will never find it hard. It will become a habit. You don't want to think about it again and again. It will become a day-to-day -day practice. So do that, although you feel hard for three weeks, and see the result. That is the answer for first question. And let's go for the second question. She had mentioned that her exams are near, so she's stressed and she's unfocused. Her mind is uh, clumsy. So what is the answer for this? Remember, now when the exams are near, it is the normal nature that we feel frustrated, distracted, unfocused and clumsy. That is the normal nature, right? So I need you to do one thing. This is a special thing to do when the exams are near, right? Focus on one thing at a time to study, right? Focus on a single thing at a time to study. Study for 20 minutes, right? When you're studying, just forget all the other things that you have to study. Now, normally when we start to study, we think, I mean, we, we find that there are so many things that we have to study in, the, in a short time. Now, the more you remember these things, the more your mind will regret the more your mind will start to become clumsy. So I need you to do, when you're, I need you to do this thing. When you're studying, just forget about all the other things that you have to study. Just think, now I have to study only this thing. There's nothing that I have to study more. Just focus on that and study for maybe 20 minutes and take a break for five minutes. This is called the Pomodoro technique. I think it is well known. So study for 20 minutes, well focused, and give yourself a little bit of a break for five minutes and start studying again. And focus on the special points in your studies, right? And now when the exams are near, if you haven't studied, right? So I think, I know you are, you're regretting in your mind. So if you didn't make through the exam, I'm using the word if, right? If you did not make through your exams, I need you to do this thing. What is that? Never, ever give up studying. At some point in our life, we will lose our balance and we will fall down. We will go through hard situations, right? We will fall down in our life, but get back up and try again. You will fall for the first time. You will fall for the second time. You will fall for the fourth time, fifth time. One, if you, though you fall for the one millionth time, what you have to do is get back up and try again. As humans, we should never give up in our studies and in our success. So, if you did not make through the exams, do not quit your studies. Do not quit your education. Right? Get back up and try again. And one day, one day, you will find that you have been success. And let's go for the third question. She said that she no longer finds a value to in her life. Remember, as humans, we are born to this world to add a value to our life. When we come to this world, we brought nothing. We had nothing. We knew nothing. But as humans, we have to add a value to this life. Right? Study well, start, start loving others, start loving your parents. And if you cannot study for yourself, right? If you cannot work for yourself, work for the people who love you. There are so many people around you who 
loves you, who have dedicated their life on behalf of yourself. Right? They are your parents. Try to bring a smile to your parents' face saying, Mom, Dad, I made it. One day you, you should do this. So if you did not give up, you will be success one day. But if you quit, if you give up your education, if you give up in your goals, it is very sure you will fail. Therefore, never give up. Work for yourself as well as work for the people who love you most. Right? Bring, bring a smile to their face. Right? The only thing that you have to do in your position as a child, as a student, is to study only. You don't want to earn money. You don't want to look after the babies. There's nothing to do. Only thing that you have to do is to study. Do that, but never give up. That is what I have to share in this special video. So I wish that daughter and all of you have the same questions in your life. May you be well and happy. May you live long. May you live a happy life. And may all of your dreams come true. And may all of you realize the Four Noble Truth in this Gautam Buddha's dispensation. Namo Buddhaya.